Hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. It's been a while. Be quiet, Tux. It's been a while since I've been fishing. One of the problems is everybody's gone off and left me by myself. And I can't unload boats and <laughs> paddle and stuff no more. My wife, Miss Janice, reminded me that they told me at the hospital, Mr. Reddick, you got to be real careful. You cannot fall and hit your head. If you do, it's probably diapers or dead. <laughs> so they don't like me going off by myself and doing stuff. But I'm fixing to hook that four-wheeler up to that boat and take me a trip down to the pond. And if I fall and hurt myself. <laughs> but if I go fishing, <laughs> all I got to say is what a way to go. <laughs> Let's go to the pond. If y'all can tell by my muddy legs and my wet clothes, <laughs> the boat launch didn't go quite according to plan. <laughs> I did take a little spill. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't hit my head. <laughs> you know I try to get along with everybody. And for the most part, I do get along with people real well. But I was thinking years ago, I had a guy go fishing with me. He kind of got on my nerves just a little bit. He was a professor. We'll call him Professor Jones. And so he was a well-educated man, which there's nothing wrong with education. I wish I'd have had a lot more than what I got. <laughs> Maybe life wouldn't have been so tough. Oh, I'm gonna hang on that stump. The, the problem I had was he was all the time using big words. I'll try to think of an example. I could hold up a, a new crankbait and say, what do you think about that? And every one of y'all would say, oh man, that ought to catch a fish. But not Professor Jones. <laughs> he would say something like, well, after observation of the length of it in centimeters, and the circumference in millimeters compared to the bill. I think when you begin a retrieval on it in the water, that it will have a sufficient vibration that might entice an amphibious species, such as a fish, maybe to want to devour it. <laughs> Why can't you just say, that thing ought to catch a fish? <laughs> so I didn't know how to handle it. It went on all day long like that. Every time he said something, he was just using them big words. I just had a hard time with it. I didn't know if he was trying to show out or just make things hard for me or, or what. But that went on all day long. Big word after big word after big word. <laughs> I'm a simple man. But anyhow, I got tired of that joker using them big words. And I didn't really want to offend him, but I thought I needed to speak in a language that he might understand. So I said, <laughs> Professor Jones, <laughs> don't use them big words when a singular, unloquacious, and diminutive linguistic expression will satisfactorily accomplish the contemporary necessity of this conversation. <laughs> and then I asked him, I said, you think a fish will bite this plug? <laughs> he said he ought to knock the fire out of it. <laughs>
Let's hook out. <laughs> oh boy. There you go, buddy. It's your lucky day. And always remember, folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.